Hi everybody, welcome back to Philosophy Media. So today I decided to make this quick video to announce that the Philosophy Media website is finally live and ready to go. In future videos, I will be uh, referencing this website quite often to copy and paste code snippets and stuff like that. As most of my videos do involve code and copy and pasting it inside the comments section of the video, it doesn't always work out well. I find the indentation often gets messed up, which is a main concern for Python. And I don't think YouTube is too crazy about the idea either. Uh, due to, to, to the uh, fears of code injection, I guess, inside of their input fields, which is completely understandable. But on a website like you're seeing right now, I can add escape characters and pretty much do whatever I want to get things to look the way we need when we're going through the tutorial and we need to copy and paste code. Uh, maybe I'll just show you a quick example of that now. So if I just go to the networking page and scroll down here a bit, uh, maybe I'll just go to reverse proxies. Uh, there's some information here on Nginx, which was requested by a viewer of this channel on a previous video. And thank you for the suggestion. Um, there's some information here on how to get an application up and running on a server. But what I want to show you is right here. So this would be the contents of the configuration file uh, for this particular application, for example, .com. Now, so when we're going through a tutorial in a future video, if someone wants to come here and copy and paste this code, uh, they should be able to without any issues. And the reason for that is because in the backend in the HTML, I had to add a bunch of escape characters for uh, indentation and symbols and uh, stuff like that. An example would be right here. So this is what the HTML looks like in the backend. As you can see right here, there's a bunch of escape, uh, escape characters and stuff like that. And that way, um, the page will be able to preserve the indentation and the symbols as they're needed for this document. So if we go back here and we copy this and open up a text document, we should be able to paste it and everything should be preserved. Yeah, and there you go. So there we have our indentation and we have our uh, symbols, uh, special characters and everything exactly the way it should be. So hopefully that'll help quite a bit in future tutorials. Uh, that way people will just be able to copy and paste code without having to worry about any of this stuff getting preserved correctly. So I'll just close this. And I do actually have an additional website that I haven't mentioned. And that's mainly just for um, help for develop for developing applications such as Flask. And that website would be right here. And that's called pagesprouts.com. And this just mainly deals with development stuff. So I got Flaspin Media here. That will deal mainly with getting started with Linux and also includes a bunch of networking tools um, that'll help you do pretty much whatever you need to do with your network. And then Page Sprout just deals with development. So when we're doing a tutorial, say on Flask, which I'm really thinking seriously about doing not fairly soon, if we go to development, there's a, a bit of a roadmap here of everything you, you would need to do to create that application. And I think in, in those future tutorials, uh, what I'll do is I'll just go through each one of these steps one by one. And if you're following along, you can just copy and paste the code as you go without having to worry about anything getting too, too uh, messed up by special characters and stuff like that that can't be displayed properly. And maybe I'll show you a quick example here. So let's say if I go to main.py, this is the main Python file that actually runs the application that you're seeing right now. And down here, we have the section where the... Uh, where, the, uh, where this file actually starts the application. And right here, indentation is extremely important as it defines the uh, the block of code or defines the uh, the block of code for that function. So if any, any of this indentation gets messed up, it just won't read properly and uh, things will go bad really quick. And here's what that code looks like on the back end. So there's the HTML right there for that. And as you can see, I added a bunch of escape characters characters and stuff like that, which would be a nightmare to do in something like a, uh, a YouTube uh, comment section. Uh, no fun at all. So yeah, hopefully this will make this process much easier. And maybe just as another example, actually, I think you'll find this kind of funny. If you go back to examples and go to HTML documents and let's see here, we'll just go to contact and then scroll down to the contact section or the contact form rather. So if someone wanted to create a contact form on their own project, 
they can just copy and paste this text text exactly as it is and everything should work out just fine. Uh, but what this lo actually looks like on the back end is this big giant mess right here. So obviously not doable in a YouTube comment section, but if someone tries to copy this as is, it should, uh, it should copy without any problems. So maybe I'll try to do that right now. Go to text document, paste it in. Yeah, and there's all the indentation preserved. Uh, so anyone should be able to run this uh, just fine. I mean, even though white space isn't really required in HTML, um, so the indentation doesn't matter, but it's certainly nice for the developer making the application if they need to come back and edit it later. Uh, they can see um, where a particular container is or uh, where anything is inside the document much easier. So, so yeah, that's uh, pagebirds.com. So we got the main one here, Foster Media, and that will mostly be all for the GNU slash Linux, um, how to get started, um, all kinds of tips and tricks and cheat sheets that you need for uh, for Linux. And then I also have a networking section here that lists a bunch of different tools, uh, topologies, models, and all that good stuff. And yeah, I think that uh, about sums it up. So I think I'll uh, do a uh, Flask maybe a, a Flask series fairly soon. So when I do that, I'll be using this website right here, pageproads.com, uh, just to copy and paste or put all the code, uh, so someone can copy and paste it. And then any help, um, anything you may need to uh, help you uh, get started with Linux, uh, can be done on this website right here, along with all the networking tools. So yeah, just a heads up for uh, future videos and tutorials. Um, if you're wondering where I'm copying, pasting code from, it'll most likely be on one of these websites right here. And then too, if you guys can think of anything else to add uh, that will be helpful, just let me know. And I'll try to put them on one of these websites here. So that way when we're going through it in future tutorials, um, hopefully everything will go much smoother and we'll have to worry about indentation and all that stuff um, when you're copying and pasting files in your own project. But uh, yeah, I think that for today, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video and hope to see you again soon on the next one. Bye for now.